Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're embarking on a journey guided by non-alcoholic liver disease research. We'll be exploring the fascinating world of supplements and their potential role in supporting non-alcoholic fatty liver disease management. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD, is a condition where excess fat builds up in the liver, often progressing silently in its early stages. If left unaddressed, it can lead to serious health complications. There are currently no medications approved for NAFLD, and while lifestyle changes like diet, exercise, and weight loss remain at the forefront of NAFLD management, exciting research is uncovering promising candidates with a few supplementary therapies. Let's take a look at the ones rising to the top. Berberine is a naturally occurring compound found in several plants, most notably the European barberry, tree turmeric, Chinese golden thread, and golden seal. It has a long history of use in traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda for various ailments. While it can be produced in the lab, most supplements likely come from plant sources. The concentration of berberine can differ depending on the plant part used and the way it is processed. Studies show that berberine may help decrease the amount of fat stored in the liver, potentially improving overall liver health. Berberine may help the body use insulin more effectively, which can be beneficial with lowering blood sugar and potentially reducing fat storage. Berberine possesses anti-inflammatory properties, which may be helpful in fighting the chronic, low-grade inflammation associated with NAFLD progression. Berberine may positively impact blood fat levels by lowering triglycerides. Berberine may also help regulate how the body processes these fats by increasing the activity of an enzyme called AMP activated protein kinase, or AMPK, which promotes fat burning and reduces fat storage in the liver. A randomized controlled study involving 116 participants with NAFLD received either berberine or placebo for three months. The results showed that the berberine group had significant improvements in liver fat content, body weight, and insulin sensitivity compared to the placebo group. It's important to know, however, that the long-term data and optimal dosages for these benefits are still under investigation, and berberine can interact with certain medications. Please consult with your doctor if you are taking other medications. Omega-3 fatty acids, particularly those high in EPA and DHA, may lead to a modest reduction in liver fat content in individuals with NAFLD. Liver function markers are blood tests that provide insights into the health and function of your liver. When the liver is stressed or damaged, it may release higher levels of certain enzymes into the bloodstream. Two of the markers that are commonly tested for are ALT and AST. Some research results show that omega-3 supplementation may lead to improvements in the levels of these markers. Omega-3's anti-inflammatory properties may be beneficial in combating low-grade inflammation associated with NAFLD progression. The antioxidant vitamin E has been studied for associated NAFLD improvements, but this picture presents somewhat of a complex story. While some studies show improvements in liver function markers like ALT and AST with vitamin E supplementation, these benefits are often limited to specific patient groups like adults without diabetes or cirrhosis. Vitamin E's antioxidant properties may offer some anti-inflammatory benefits, potentially slowing the progression of NAFLD. However, it's important to consider the limitations. The potential benefits of vitamin E may not apply to all individuals with NAFLD. Research on vitamin E for NAFLD has yielded mixed results, highlighting the need for further investigation. Also, high doses of vitamin E can lead to an increased risk of bleeding and other potential side effects. Due to this complex picture and safety concerns, consulting a healthcare professional is important before considering vitamin E supplementation for NAFLD. They can look at your individual situation and determine if it might be a suitable option within your overall plan. While the research is exciting and these supplements hold promise, they are not a magic answer for reversing NAFLD. Remember, a holistic approach is best. Prioritizing a healthy lifestyle that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight remains cornerstone for managing NAFLD. If you would like to know more about all the ways you can reverse fatty liver and how drinking your morning cup of coffee can help, check out this video your liver's secret weapon.
Remember, each supplement has its own unique strengths and weaknesses and individual responses can vary. Consulting a healthcare professional is important to decide if any of these supplements might be right for you, your specific situation, and your overall management plan. They can help you weigh the potential benefits and risks, considering factors like your individual health, medications, and NAFLD severity. If you've been successful with reversing fatty liver, please consider sharing your experience in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.